The UK Defence Ministry has assessed the Russian army's losses from Ukrainian strikes on ammunition depots in Tikoretsk and Toropets in Russia. According to British intelligence estimates, the total amount of ammunition destroyed at these depots represents the largest loss of ammunition supplied by Russia and North Korea during the war. The strikes will almost certainly cause, at a minimum, short-term disruption to Russian artillery and small arms munitions supplies, critical resources in a war of attrition dominated by mass fires, the intelligence report stated. According to the report, the strike on September the 18th likely destroyed at least 30,000 tons of ammunition in open and bunker storage. The ministry pointed out that these strikes illustrate that despite the Russians deploying an extensive layered air defense system, including fighter jets around Ukraine, they continue to struggle against Ukrainian UAVs used in deep strike operations into Russia. The report added it is highly likely this will force further dispersals in the Russian logistics chain for fear of additional strikes, increasing the burden on an already stretched system. The attacks on military depots near Russian Toropets were carried out by Ukrainian drones. As Ukraine's presidential spokesperson, Serhii Nikiforov, remarked, the Russians will be the first to learn when the West approves strikes deep into Russian territory with missiles produced by the US and Europe. On the night of September the 29th, Russia reported drone attacks across seven regions. Ukrainian drones hit a missile and ammunition arsenal in Kotluban, Volgograd region, more than 600 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Despite being heavily protected by electronic warfare and air defense systems, Ukrainian units completed their mission successfully. A fire and detonation of ammunition were observed at the arsenal. The general staff of Ukraine added, the operation was conducted by the Ukrainian Unmanned Systems Forces in collaboration with units from the Special Operations Forces, the Main Directorate of Intelligence and the Security Service of Ukraine. Sources of various Ukrainian media indicated that the operation was coordinated by the Main Directorate of Intelligence, Special Operations Forces, Security Service, Foreign Intelligence Service and Armed Forces of Ukraine. The strike destroyed Russia's arsenal of missiles, ammunition and explosives. Шандец просто горит, копью мать. Вот в этом месте стояла дверь, да. да, вот здесь. Да. Это коридорная дверь. Да. Ром, ну вот кто прибыл здесь, здесь не было, баллон не был. Баллон были все вот здесь. Видно, все плохо выбивало, да, насколько аж улетело. Ничего себе, да смотри. The 23rd arsenal of Russia's main missile and artillery directorate that was struck by Ukrainian intelligence last week, had received a large batch of anti-aircraft missiles from a base in Belarus prior to its destruction, Belarus media reported.
The arsenal is located near Oktyabrsk village in Russia's Tver region and was attacked on September 21. According to the report, the 23rd arsenal received ammunition from the 1,562nd separate anti-aircraft repair and technical base located near the Belarusian city of Osipovichy. This was the largest batch of ammunition from Belarus delivered to this arsenal during 2024. According to the report, the missiles for the anti-aircraft missile complexes were delivered to the military depot by rail. The total volume of cargo was 94 semi-cars with missile weapons for air defense systems in containers, as well as 5 cars with security. The approximate time of dispatch of the groups of wagons is the late July and early August and the cargo was defined as explosive materials. The loading of one semi-wagon ranged between 20 and 30 tons. It should be noted that during the attack on the 23rd arsenal, the facility was almost completely destroyed. In addition to the warehouses themselves, the railway infrastructure located on the territory was also affected. Apart from the military depot in Tver, Ukrainian intelligence struck another arsenal near Tykoretsk in Russia's southern Krasnodar region that was one of the key arsenals in the logistics system of Russian troops. At the moment of the attack, there was an echelon delivering more than 2,000 tons of ammunition, including from the North Korea. Fire and explosion had taken place in the areas of both military arsenals following the attack.